Today I'm breaking down how to make a song in Cakewalk, covering all the basics start to finish. I know firsthand it's easy to get lost in the weeds of technical tutorials that get into the nitty gritty and set out to optimize everything. But today's video is about the basics and making music that sounds good to the average listener so you can put perfection to the side and just get started creating. And one side benefit of that mindset is saving money. Pro stuff is expensive, but the software we're using today is free, and the vast majority of the plugins are free, even the knockoff auto-tune plugin. Let's work. So that's my song and the example I'm going to use to break down this whole process, so hopefully it sounds good to you. If it does, I'd very much appreciate you streaming it from the links in the description, but I'll remind you again before the video ends, so feel free to put that off until you actually get through the video. Okay, recording. I've recorded vocals with the Blue Snowball, Movo UM800, Blue Yeti, and most recently the Rode NT1. In all honesty, the mic you use isn't a huge factor in the beginner stage, so if you have a mic that's not your phone mic, but works alongside your computer, you're probably good enough to get started. Alternatively, I've put recommendations for mics for music vocals at every price point from $50 to $500 in the description, so feel free to do some research starting from those recommendations listed down below. But yeah, once your mic is up and running, you're going to want earbuds or headphones to allow you to listen to the instrumental of your song while recording the vocals. I got these Bear Dynamic Mixing headphones and they're definitely overkill for this use. Really, if you have any pair of wired earbuds or headphones, those will work. Now let's jump into Cakewalk. Cakewalk is a 100% free digital audio workstation. This is where we'll be laying down vocals, listening to what we got so far, and mixing our vocals to get a finished song. So if you haven't already, go ahead and download Cakewalk in what should be a relatively easy process before continuing on with the video. Okay, what we're going to do is pop open Cakewalk, click New Project, then Empty Project. And then I just drag my song's instrumental in here to get things started. Let's make that a little bigger for better visibility, then add a new track with our mic set as the input. Okay, hopefully things are making sense now. We have a project with our instrumental, a blank track for our vocals, and a mic and headphones to record the vocals and hear the instrumental. So let's arm the empty track for recording by hitting this little red button and record by hitting the big red button. We've jumped ahead in the future a little bit, and if you're overwhelmed by how many more vocal tracks there are than a second ago, I don't blame you, and that's because I brought in all the vocals from the finished song Sunset Drive you already heard, and if you click this little stack button, you can see there's even more vocals than you saw at first. That's because my recording process is actually recording a ton of takes and combining them in a process called comping to get a Frankenstein perfect take. Don't be intimidated though, this isn't necessary when getting started, I would recommend you just get a good take of the hook of your song, a couple tracks with the verses, and maybe one more track to hold the ad-libs. And of course, there's very basic functions to manipulate the audio you record. Hitting S splits the audio so you can remove sections with delete or drag stuff around, and you can drag the edges to cut out extra audio at the front or end of a take. Now it's time to mix. Mixing is where you'll manipulate your vocals to sit nicely on the beat and overall just sound good when listening to the song. My vocals when entirely unmixed sound like this. Shout and drive, when my hairs it dries, I ain't going nowhere, just slide, and the sunshine dead in my eyes. Middle finger to the world, cause you two has no Spotify. Squint cause that's my breed, my tan, so eat no cars in sight, yeah. But in order, we're gonna use the plugins M Auto Pitch, two instances of TDR Nova, TDR VOS Slicky Q, TDSer, TDR Katelnikov, VX64 Vocal Strip, and Fresh Air to make them sound good. I know, if you're not familiar with third-party plugins or mixing in general, that probably sounded like random letters plus numbers vomit, plus some IKEA inspiration with Katelnikov, but what those really are are 100% free plugins that each play a small role in getting the vocals closer to an industry sound. So in the following section, I'm going to give a short description of what each plugin does and give you a sample of what it sounds like when you drop it onto my raw vocals. Okay, M Auto Pitch is a free auto-tune knockoff that pulls your notes to fit the key you're performing the song in. Sunset Drive is in the key of D major, and I wanted a pretty intense auto-tune effect, so the automatic tuning speed setting is at 100%. Keep in mind, I did use real auto-tune for the final version of the song, so for consistency, I'm going to use that going forward, but let me play the example audio with M Auto Pitch real quick and see if you can tell the difference. Shout and drive. 
When my hair's it dries, I ain't going nowhere, I just slide. And the sunshine dead in my eyes. Middle finger to the world, cause you two has no Spotify. Squint, cause that's my breed, my tans don't eat no cars inside, yeah. Shower then drive. When my hair's it dries, I ain't going nowhere, I just slide. And the sunshine dead in my eyes. Middle finger to the world, cause you two has no Spotify. Squint, cause that's my breed, my tans don't eat no cars inside, yeah. The first TDR Nova on here is my subtractive EQ. EQs are really open-ended plugins that let you manipulate frequencies by using a line that extends from left to right representing low to high frequencies. And I've made this one roll off low frequencies and also dynamically cuts out harsh S sounds. Watch as I play the example audio and the EQ moves based on how loud this frequencies are. Shower then drive, when my hair's it dries, I ain't going nowhere, I just slide, and the sunshine dead in my eyes. Middle finger to the world, cause you two has no Spotify. Squint, cause that's my breed, my tans don't eat no cars inside, yeah. The next TDR Nova is more of an additive EQ, where nothing dynamically moves, and it just constantly boosts certain frequencies in the vocal to bring in crisp and body. Shower then drive, when my hair's it dries, I ain't going nowhere, I just slide, and the sunshine dead in my eyes. Middle finger to the world, cause you two has no Spotify. Squint, cause that's my breed, my tans don't eat no cars inside, yeah. Next is TDR VOS Slick EQ. Not a pro plugin by any means, but stupid easy to use to tweak the levels of the lows, mids, and highs. If you turn off the low and mid controls and just bring up the highs, you can use it as a shelf like I did in this song to add even more high end. Shower then drive, when my hair's it dries, I ain't going nowhere, I just slide, and the sunshine dead in my eyes. Middle finger to the world, cause you two has no Spotify. Squint, cause that's my breed, my tans don't eat no cars inside, yeah. After all those high-end boosts, we need to tame these and shh sounds a bit more, so that's what TDSer is going to do for us, with how powerful the effect is being controlled by this massive dial here. Shower then drive, when my hair's it dries, I ain't going nowhere, I just slide, and the sunshine dead in my eyes. Middle finger to the world, cause you two has no Spotify. Squint, cause that's my breed, my tans don't eat no cars inside, yeah. Next, Katelnikov is a mastering compressor, but I use it on my vocals here because A, it accomplishes the goal of a compressor in mixing, which is to reduce the volume of the loud parts of vocals to make everything more uniform, and B, it does that in a very subtle way because of being made for mastering. Shower then drive, when my hair's it dries, I ain't going nowhere, I just slide, and the sunshine dead in my eyes. Middle finger to the world, cause you two has no Spotify. Squint, cause that's my breed, my tans don't eat no cars inside, yeah. After that, VX64 is a Swiss Army knife of a plugin I use for only three of its functions, DSer, Delay, and TubeEQ. Yes, there is even more DSing to mitigate any remaining harsh S sounds. Delay is a little subtle echo type thing that has the same tempo as the song itself, and the 2BQ is a little tweak of the sound signature we've got so far. Shower then drive, when my hair's it dries, I ain't going nowhere, I just slide, and the sunshine dead in my eyes. Middle finger to the world, cause you two has no Spotify. Squint, cause that's my breed, my tans don't eat no cars inside, yeah. And last but not least, fresh air is the key to a mixing style where there's very crisp lead vocals right up front with more reverby background vocals. Think Lemonade by Internet Money. Shower then drive, when my hair's it dries, I ain't going nowhere, I just slide, and the sunshine dead in my eyes. Middle finger to the world, cause you two has no Spotify. Squint, cause that's my breed, my tans don't eat no cars inside, yeah. And speaking of reverb, while that is all the effects I use directly on the vocals with the song Sunset Drive, there's of course reverb which I added by sending those mixed vocals to two buses for a room reverb and large reverb. I built these myself using the paid plugin H Reverb and set up the room reverb to sound like a small studio space. Shower then drive, when my hair's it dries, I ain't going nowhere, I just slide, and the sunshine dead in my eyes. Middle finger to the world, cause you two has no Spotify. Squint, cause that's my breed, my tans don't eat no cars inside, yeah. And the large reverb sounded more like a hall or a chamber. Shower then drive, when my hair's it dries, I ain't going nowhere, I just slide, and the sunshine dead in my eyes. Middle finger to the world, cause you two has no Spotify. Squint, cause that's my breed, my tans don't eat no cars inside, yeah. Really, the large reverb is just stylistic, so to get this sound, I really just adjusted things until it fit the mood of the song. This video is not sponsored by anybody, but I do have a product of my own I want to tell you all about that'll really give you a head start in mixing my vocal preset packs. And if you'd like the starting point of the exact settings I use to mix my music with, check out my two preset packs. 
So for instance, the song in this video, Sunset Drive, you'll get preset packs for Auto-Tune, both TDR Nova instances, Slick EQ, TDSer, Katonikov, VX64, and both reverbs using H-Reverb. And similarly, you get the full chain plus reverbs for two other songs I've made, Start With Coffee and Tears From The Sky Acoustic. These are incredibly easy to use. From the open plugin, you just click VST3, load preset, and click the file from the preset pack you downloaded. These boys are also 50% off until Labor Day to make easing into the new semester easier. So yeah, check these out if you think they'd help you out. But with that being said, what we've just put together is a basic tutorial on making music. Gear you need, recording, free plugins to get started, and mixing. There are also links in the description to download the plugins and additional instructional content. I hope you enjoyed the video, please subscribe if you feel like being awesome, and don't forget to check out both my newly released vocal preset packs and the song from the video, Sunset Drive, in the description below. See you soon!